Hi everybody, it's me again. I just figured I'd leave you a video um, talking about my upcoming um, Social Security hearing that's coming up and talk about some of the anxiety that I've been having. Um, you know, all my life I've with the abuse that I um, endured as a child, I was always sworn to a cone of silence. And always told that if I did tell, no one would ever believe me. And that um, grown-ups only believe other grown-ups. And that there would be repercussions for me telling the truth. So I've always been told to kind of keep things to myself. And worry about what would happen if my truth came out. And I think with this upcoming um, hearing with me coming up and having to tell my side of the story about my past injuries and talking about my life and how my injuries have affected my everyday life has like been bringing up a lot of like drama for me in a way where I'm worried about what will happen if my truth comes out and having a judge listen to me and have to make a judgment on whether he, they believe I'm telling the truth and not trying to take it personal. I know that they have to make a determination um, and try to save the government money because there are people that take advantage of the system. And I'm, I'm totally aware of that. But it still feels like a personal attack when I'm opening up and telling like personal things about myself. And having someone say, A, I don't believe this person, or B, I do believe this person. So this hearing is more than me just giving my medical testimony and vocational testimony and listening to what they decide. It almost feels like a personal attack. So I've really been struggling with um, the upcoming hearing and the nervousness that comes along with it. So my counselor's been working with me and um, helping me with, with like daily affirmations and helping me realize that this has nothing to do with my past. This is, has to do with my present. And people, my attorneys, and my counselors are telling me, you know, just think of this hearing that's going to be on the phone. I don't have to go in person because of corona, which is really a relief on my hands because my first hearing I had to go face to face and I was so nervous. I broke down in tears because it was really traumatizing to hear my story of my past abuse because I'm going not only for physical ailments, I'm going for my mental anguish. And I was proud of myself for opening up the way I did. But at the same time, it was really um, emotional and um, scary to hear them open up and talk about personal things that I totally forgot I even told another person about. So I'm going to be able to do it through the comfort of my own home, which is nice. But it still doesn't stop me from being nervous about it. So they've been trying to tell me to think of it as just like a regular phone conversation. The hearing's only going to take like 30 to 45 minutes. I can do it in the comfort of my home. I can have a cup of coffee. I can have a cigarette while I do it. But it's still not helping me with my heebie-jeebies. And what's making it worse is that it interrupts with my religious beliefs because I believe that prayer changes everything. And I know at the end of the day, it's in God's hands and he's never going to put me in a situation that I can't get myself out of. But I feel like I'm betraying my prayers and my faith because I still worry. So that's something that I'm dealing with too. A friend of mine years ago always told me, if you're going to pray, don't worry. And if you're going to worry, don't pray. And I try to live by that, but it's so much easier said than done. So those are the things that have been like going through my mind lately. So um, the hearing is August 14th. So any prayers and well wishes would be greatly appreciated. I personally just can't wait for it to all be over with. And then I guess I'll get my results in four to six weeks, but the waiting is agony. But I know in the end, at the end of the day, everything will be all right. So that's what I just have to stay positive and think, you know, positive. I'm sorry if it's loud. I'm sitting, I'm doing my laundry, so I'm sitting on the side of a busy street. But I just wanted to leave a video and give you an update of what's been going on in my mind.